Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. This is totally spontaneous and I honestly wasn't really even planning on filming, but I feel like I've been documenting kind of all of our house changes, home improvement stuff we've been doing. Like we did our cabinets, I filmed all of that, and then we did our drop center. Well, my dad did that mostly, and I filmed all of that. And this is kind of our next like big-ish project. It's not that big, but for kind of like first-time homeowners, I mean, we've lived here for two years, but for first-time homeowners that haven't done a lot of this stuff, this feels kind of like a big project, especially because Ken's doing it by himself which he did do the cabinets by himself and he did a really good job on that that was kind of terrifying for both of us but he is down here and he's replacing our pedestal sink which I feel like most houses especially in like the half baths that are just downstairs typically come with just one of these really terrible <laughs> pedestal sinks because I, they're just cheap and easy obviously but it just I don't know it's not cute and I feel like it just is too tiny for the space and it's it's just ugly and it's honestly not functional at all you can barely fit a soap dispenser on there you can't even like put your phone down when you need to like wash your hands because like a phone won't even fit there so it's not functional you can't decorate it you can't put soap on it you literally can't use it and it's ugly where well, I like the faucet a lot though but not the actual sink so what have you done so far honey I just, nothing really I just disconnected the water Oh yeah, so that's something. It didn't like make a big huge flood. It just like dripped a little bit out. What's the next step that I need to do? I just get it off. You're just gonna rip it off the wall? Do you watch some YouTube videos? Do you feel confident? I mean, I guess. Kind of. Yeah. He's not like real comfortable with like, a lot of home projects, but my dad walked him through this and he watched a bunch of videos, so I think he should be able to, <laughs> to handle it. And then of course I'll show you all the new sink that we got to put in here, which is so pretty. He did it! Can that just stand? Yeah, I'll hold on to it for a second. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Oh, it does kind of smell. He like unhooked the, you know, little like plastic piece that connects the water from the wall to the sink. And of course there's like hair and stuff in it and it does not smell good at all. Wow, that looks crazy back there. Good job, babe, I'm proud of you. And then obviously that just unscrews. That wasn't too bad, right? And then we just need to disconnect the faucet and obviously the handles from here because we're gonna use that on the new sink that we purchased. This was kind of the main project for today. We wanted to like get this off the wall. It wasn't actually, like didn't take him very long and it pretty much just like ripped. <laughs> right off the wall. I mean definitely caused a little bit of a mess and got some like driplets on the wall But overall I feel like it was fairly easy and painless to get this out of here <laughs> Except it's still leaking so we just have to keep the garbage pail underneath of it. It does not smell good in here Oh my gosh, that was pretty easy, right? Somewhat. Yeah, I good job. I think the bottom can just suddenly just <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting back at it with the sink. Sanky boy, are you helping? He said, no way I'm out of here. All right, I just wanted to show really quick. This is the sink that we got. LNB is the style. It's from Style Collections. So obviously you'll see when we get it out, but it's just all white. It's got some storage. We got ours from Lowe's, so I can link this up for y'all. If you're interested, they have different colors and sizes and all of that. Oh my gosh, it came already assembled? I didn't realize that this came literally already assembled. Drawers are in it. Okay, well that's awesome. We're getting a little concerned because obviously this is where the water like would come in um, but there's no hole <laughs> so I don't know if we're supposed to just cut this open ourselves we need to read the directions and then the actual like top like the countertop and the sink are right here on the couch <laughs> Ken's got all his tools out this is what it looks like out of the box how handy is this I really thought we were gonna have to like Ikea assemble this but it's literally already put together this is all the like nuts and bolts and the hardware for the drawers and all that so I'm gonna work on that the cats are having a great time <laughs> playing with all the box remnants oh my gosh Willie oh <laughs> that was so dumb here come out Willie come on oh my gosh Cats are so dumb, I swear. They see anything and they need to go in it. <laughs> I'm glad I at least got that on camera. Okay, can you get out of there? Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Get your little butt out. Come on. Thank you. So I don't know if I said this already, but we have to take a tea for time on this because we don't have the proper tools to drill like or saw a hole in this. My parents are coming over in the day after tomorrow. So they'll be here soon. My dad literally just put in a new sink in their house, almost the exact same one, like same branch and everything. So he's familiar with this. He's gonna bring his saw and then I think that's all that they really need. Other than that, we can like caulk it up with that and reattach everything. Ken has all the hardware and I put those, the little hardware on the drawers in the cabinet 
and all that. So basically, that's the last piece we need. So we're just gonna have to take a pause on this until <laughs> 48 hours from now. Resuming the sink festivities. Oh, see, I told you I'd take that off. Oh, I know. Knew it. So we're realizing some see, technical problems. Oh, He's got to take the there. foot off of the baseboard and then also shift the sink over <laughs> in yeah. a different location. Oh wait, so it's not going to be centered under the mirror. No. Is that the problem? That too. Okay. So, so the, the I just gave because you, like, the center where they have to line it up would interfere with the drawers on the other side of this. <laughs> yeah, we have a problem. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I do know. I do know you what you mean. We so gotta be kind of ratchet, have, but if you have a hole here and this is malleable and you can just shove it, yeah. Cut. So this one. Should I hold it? Uh, yeah, fire it up. But let it start first. <laughs> it uses it as long as it's up on the chair. No, Google, that is a sink. It's not a new cat bed for you that can't even be comfortable. Why are you in there, Nago? You will lay in anything that's wound and will fit you. It's so funny. <laughs> what are you doing, you silly girl? You're crazy. <laughs> okay, it's about to officially finish up the sink. As you can see, they got all the holes cut. Everything kind of like comes in perfectly. The drawer doesn't close perfectly because of that little guy. So Ken's gonna kind of just like jerry rig it. Scootums. Oh, sorry. <laughs> He's gonna like jerry rig this so that it stays that way. Because obviously, you can see if I move it. This kind of hits into it, so he's scootums, just gonna. Scootums, scootums. Oh, he's just gonna fix that <laughs> so that it stays kind of left aligned, and then he's gonna caulk this, and then obviously rehook up. We have the pipe thing in the garbage, but rehook up the pipe so that the water starts functioning. Attach the faucet. That should basically be it, and then I just need to do like some kind of cleanup and touch up on the floors because it's a mess. My dad also realized, thank goodness, that this was not gonna be close enough to the wall if we didn't cut the. What is it called? A foot or a shoe? I don't remember. This little, not the whole entire baseboard, obviously, but just this little part. But he had to cut it so that this could get closer to the wall, which I'm glad he figured that out because it does kind of have a little bit of a gap, but that doesn't bother me. They also were afraid they weren't going to be able to get it like perfectly aligned, like centered, but they did it. So they basically solved every problem. Psyche, what is he doing in there? You look like a real handyman, honey. Ken just shattered. Okay, it's time for the moment of truth. Oh, hey, that looks awesome on there, doesn't it? Okay, no? Yep. <laughs> well, that's just the drain, so who cares? <laughs> Why is it leaking? He just turned on the water. I said, make sure it's not leaking. He goes, oh, it's leaking. Let me go get a rag. He said, it's definitely leaking. <laughs> Here you go. So that is there. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. I was like, there's no way this doesn't leak. Well, let's just get a bucket. Well, here, you can use a towel. All right, it is officially done. Ken has everything hooked up. He kind of like jerry-rigged that thing that was like butting into the drawer. So it's officially done. And I am, hello, I am so obsessed with it. It's just crazy. Like before we literally couldn't fit a soap dispenser. You couldn't like put your phone down. You can do anything. So this is just such a massive improvement having just a whole ton of counter space. And it's honestly like lined up perfectly. Both my dad and Ken said it was going to be off center like significantly. <laughs> and it's totally not. There's a man himself. I think it looks so, so good. And we're going to have so much storage now. And we have two drawers here that we can store stuff in. And then what my mom also noticed, which is a really nice feature, I will link this sink if y'all are interested, is that it actually is like closed off down here and on the sides so you don't have to worry about toys, like cat toys from this guy, or dust or anything like gathering under there or you know, having to fish anything out of there. So yeah, this is the completed sink. It's literally everything I dreamed of and more. I love that there's more storage. I love that it's a really pretty simple, clean white and it just kind of like fills up the space a little bit better. It's just, I feel like it just adds a lot of visual component to the whole space. I am obsessed. This was honestly like not a huge undertaking and it wasn't expensive, but I just feel like it makes a huge impact. Yeah, this is another home project completely done.